Hello and welcome to week 1, unit 4. My name is Ulf Petzl and I am head of PLM Globe Presales at SAP. In this unit, I am going to talk about some typical SAP PLM use cases in the high-tech industry. But first of all, let me elaborate on the key trends that are impacting product innovation in high-tech today. Probably the biggest megatrend that we have observed is that it is getting increasingly more difficult to distinguish industries from one another. Most day-to-day -day products now have high-tech, in other words, advanced software and electronics, embedded in them. This megatrend creates a lot of new opportunities, but also a lot of challenges for the high-tech industry. High-tech is everywhere. Let me dive a little deeper into the related microtrends. I'll introduce these quickly and then give you some examples. I will go clockwise from the top. Software seems to be everywhere and in everything these days. There's a movement in the industry from simply creating products to providing an entire ecosystem of capabilities for consumption by the customers. Time to market is important, but what really matters is time to volume, so being able to scale your production as rapidly as possible when introducing new offerings. When introducing these new offerings, disruptive technologies have the potential to completely change the playing field. Finally, Instant availability of products, services and software for the customers has now become the norm. So now, what kind of success strategies are high-tech companies embarking on in order to cope with these trends and drive their business transformation? The keywords are resiliency, collaboration, business model, and sustainability. Number one strategy, increase resiliency in the supply chain to manage disruption. Especially sim the semiconductor industry has been facing severe supply chain disruptions. It hence is working modernizing its traditional supply chain model with a focus on taking visibility, sustainability and risk mitigation into account. The second strategy is to increase and accelerate collaborative product development across a larger network of value chain partners. Technology advancements can only be accomplished through higher R&D investments with the goal of developing an advanced IP and product portfolio. This success strategy provides a foundation for the third, which is common across all high-tech industry segments to embark on a business model innovation to address new competition and to protect and grow market shares. These new business models are many times centered at providing outcomes as a service, as part of a trusted ecosystem that relies on multi-tier and multi-vendor supply chains. All of these success strategies are complemented by sustainable and smart manufacturing to reduce carbon footprint and improve the production yields. SAP offers the three already familiar building blocks to support the success strategies previously described. First, PLM in SAP S4 HANA as the system of record and downstream business process integration. Second, SAP Team Center by Siemens, extending and complementing the SAP PLM portfolio. And third, SAP Enterprise Product Development, providing public cloud-based differentiating capabilities to enable an end-to-end -end product, product digital threat. Let's now have a look at the three, at three of the prominent examples of how SAP PLM capabilities can be utilized to overcome some of the previously depicted challenges in high tech. 
Challenge 1. Lack of end-to-end -end visibility and collaboration in a multi-tier environment. How can it be overcome? By a responsive procurement, by engaging approved partners for order fulfillment. By ensuring product origin meets the specifications, expectations and quality, transparent and sustainable sourcing through supplier collaboration and shorten the lead times and reduce inventory by directly connecting suppliers and co-manufacturers with SAP EPD collaboration. This is what is depicted in this flow. Challenge number two, demand for high yield due to competitive market leading to product changes. How can it be overcome? You can overcome it via managing the end-to-end -end product change to retain the competitive edge and customer satisfaction with SAP PLM, so the core and enterprise product development solutions. The third challenge is meeting environmental and regulatory compliance and quality standards. This one can be overcome via physically and virtually testing the products and solution against the specific requirements and standards with SAP Enterprise Product Development, Verification and Validation Capability. Let me close with the key takeaways of this session. First of all, the key success strategies for the high-tech industry are instill the voice of your customer to continuously refine product requirements. Collaboratively develop innovative, sustainable and compliant products. Close the loop in performance and operational analysis to improve products and customer satisfaction. At the end, SAP's PLM is an enabler for high tech. Two, first of all, digitally transform by providing a robust digital product data backbone. Secondly, to increase speed and efficiency by efficiently managing and collaboratively sharing product information. And last but not least, to meet increased regulatory and sustainability demands by providing embedded product compliance and verification capabilities. Highlighted use cases along that line were the following. Supplier collaboration for timely sourcing and order fulfillment. Change collaboration for better quality and lower time to market. And test management to maintain quality in hybrid offerings. That brings us to the end of this unit. I hope you found this interesting and that you can relate to it to your own enterprise. If you have questions on this, please go to the discussion forum. I and other course experts are waiting to hear from you. Thanks for watching.